Lesson 7.1b, Graphing with Ratios. 7.1a is linked in the description, and it's very important that you saw that one first. We can represent real-world problems involving ratios and rates with tables and graphs. We can find equivalent ratios and rates to make a table. Then we can use the table columns to make ordered pairs. Finally, we can graph the ordered pairs and connect the points with a line. When we first learned about ordered pairs in 5th grade 9.2 and 9.3, which are linked in the description if you need a review. A coordinate plane is made from two number lines that cross each other at 0, 0, the origin. This point right here where this number line meets this number line is the origin. That's 0, 0. It's this point right here. And 0, 0 the, is the ordered pair for the origin. We have our x value and our y value. It's our x-coordinate and our y-coordinate. It's the horizontal number and the vertical number. And it's easy to remember that y goes up because we can think of y to the sky. You know, that's the y and that's the x going horizontally. So we use the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate to help us plot a point on the coordinate graph, the coordinate grid. And we can estimate their location by finding two scale numbers they fall between. So here our y value is 2 and 5 tenths, 2 and a half. And we think, well, 2 and a half is halfway between 2 and 3, so it would be right here. We find 30, our x-coordinate, and we find out where it meets 2 and a half, and it would be right there. So sometimes when graphing a point, you're going to have to look at the numbers that it's between to help you find where to plot your point. In the last video, we did a word problem where we had packages of batteries and we had a total of batteries in all. And it told us that three packages had 24 batteries and we needed to fill in the table. And we found our values. Well, each column is a ratio in an ordered pair x is the first number and the y is the second number. But notice for the ratio in this column, we've got the y first and then the x. Well, in an ordered pair, they're in alphabetical order, x, y, and then we'd have z, wouldn't we? So these are in alphabetical order. But as a ratio, y is the first number. And we can plot these points, 24 for x, 3 for y. And if you look at our scale, we, it goes from 20 to 30, so this middle line must be 25, right? So it's going to be just before the 25. And then for 3, we've got it right there, so it meets at 24, 3. For the next one, it's going to meet at 32, 4. So we go a little past 30 to 32, and then there's 4. We plot our point right there. For 48, 6, it's going to be a little bit before 50, because it's 48, and then it's going to be on 6. Then we do 56, 7. That's going to be a little bit past 55, which would be this line, and it would meet at 7. And then we have 80, 10. That's an easy one. We go to 80, we go to 10, and that's where we plot our point. We plot the points, and we connect them with a line beginning at 0, 0, the origin. And the easiest way to do this, if they're all equivalent, we start at 0 with our pen and a straight edge like a ruler, and we just go to the 80, and we connect 0 to 80. And if they all connect, we know that all of our values are equivalent as equivalent ratios. For each ordered pair, we can write them as a ratio as the y-coordinate to the x-coordinate. So remember, in an ordered pair, we have our x first and then our y, but as a ratio, it's y over x. It's y to x, the y-coordinate to the x-coordinate. It's y over x, y to x. We have our ordered pairs, and we switch them around and put them like they were in the table. And we have a 
nice straight line going from the origin through all the points. And since these are equivalent ratios, each point on the graph correctly shows the number of packages as the y-coordinate and correctly shows the total number of batteries as the x-coordinate. And did you know that any point that falls on this line would be a correct equivalent ratio for these other ones? We knew when we were doing this in the last video that our unit rate was 8 to 1. So we knew that we could, you know, just multiply the 4 times 8 and get 32, the 6 times 8 and get 48, the 7 times 8 and get 56. We, we found that in the last video, which means if we had a 5 here, 5 times 8 is 40, right? So that would be a correct ratio. And look, if we go to 40, look at where 40 hits, right at 5. Look at that. Now, if you remember in the last video, we also did Dave's books to Bob's books. We found that for uh, Dave to read three books, Bob read nine, and we completed our table. So this is our unit rate. If Dave reads three and Bob reads nine, that means Bob reads three for every one that Dave reads. So our unit rate was a 3 over a 1, wasn't it? Now, using this column to make our ordered pair of x and y, so we'd have x and y, we'd have a 3 and a 1, and we had to find how many books Bob read if Dave read 2, if you remember that in the last video. So as ratios... We have 1 to 3, 2 to something, 3 to 9. And if we draw a line from the origin through the two known points, our unit rate of 3 to 1 is right here. Here's 3 and here's 1, so we know that's 1 point. And we had 9 and 3, 9 for x, 3 for y. We can look at where 2 is for the y which is right here, and we follow it to our line to find out where it meets the line. It meets at 6. So we would actually know to put a 6 here. Any points, any coordinates on our line is a correct ratio. So if we draw a line from the origin through the two known points, we'll see where 2 meets the x-coordinate, and it met at 6. And the equation of this line is 3y equals x, when the coefficient, that's the number in front of the variable, is right next to the variable. That means we're going to multiply. It's telling us we're going to multiply 3 times the y value to find x. 3 times the y value will tell us x. 3 times 3 is 9. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. So the equation of this line is 3y equals x. We're going to learn more about this in modules 10 and 12. So just remember to be careful when you're going from your table to the graph that this is the y value and that's the x value. But as an ordered pair, x comes first and then y. As a ratio, y is the first number, x is the second number, okay? So we just finished graphing with ratios. The last part of this lesson is representing rates with tables and graphs. Have a really nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.